This spring, Flint DeBoer went from being a perfectly healthy 13-year-old to being admitted to the hospital. He just started to get progressively worse. And after a while, I got really worried because he became very skinny. He um, still felt very fatigued. Um, He started having some tummy troubles. Doctors diagnosed him with type 1 diabetes, but also wanted to know if he'd had COVID-19. Were you surprised? Yeah, I mean, I had never heard any of that before at all. Researchers with Imperial College London decided to look into the possible links after some hospitals reported about double the number of type 1 diabetes cases at the height of the pandemic compared to the same time period in previous years. Viruses have always been thought to play a role in possibly triggering type 1 diabetes in children that are susceptible. So we feel that COVID-19 may be behaving in a similar manner. Some of the kids tested had active COVID infections. Others, like Flint, had antibodies. The next step for researchers will be to analyze a larger number of cases to see if they can prove a direct link. We really don't want to alarm parents, but I think it's great if the awareness of early features of diabetes are out there in the public. Parents should watch children for four symptoms, constant thirst, frequent restroom visits, tiredness and weight loss. Doctors say early diagnosis can help get kids like Flint back to leading a healthy life. Riley Carlson, CBS News, London.